this lesson you can learn how to design this beautiful growth infographic in powerpoint keys that i'm using during the design you can see at the below bar follow these keys and watch the video till the end go to format background i'm going to give it some gradient color i think so yes and uh, i will choose four stops from up to down yes and uh, uh, this color choose this dark color and uh, little bit light in the upper case and uh, more little bit light and uh, the last one will be white yes okay go to insert and take an old shape and uh, drag an old shape by holding shift alt i'm going to make it uh, its size 10 centimeter and uh, 10 centimeter i think uh, shape outline make it no outline and uh, shape uh, pill through the eyedropper i'm going to pick this color and uh, now i'm going to uh, 3d format 3d rotation yes choose this one and uh, 3d format uh, go to depth yes and i'm going to make its depth uh, around about 28 9 27 yes 28 and uh, you can uh, <coughs> choose its depth according to your uh, desires take uh, this uh, eyedropper through the eyedropper i'm going to give it this color and uh, i'm reduce it to 8.5 centimeter i think so yes and 8.5 centimeter and place it here at the center of the first uh, step and uh, this is the second step again control d to duplicate it and uh, i am going to give it uh, this third one color through the eyedropper and make it uh, size to seven centimeter and also the second one also goes to seven centimeter and uh, click enter and place it over uh, the second step at the center like this uh, control D to duplicate it and uh, I'm going to give the fourth color in this palette yes this one through the eyedropper and uh, I'm going to make it size to 5.5 centimeter and place it over the third step at the center here like this Control D to duplicate it and again I'm going to pick the fifth color through the eyedropper from the and uh, make it size to four centimeter I think so yes and give it the fifth color through the eyedropper yes this one and place it up uh, to the fourth step at the center okay let me place it here at the side and i'm going to give it some shadow effect to the i'm going to select the shadow effect for the first one step this one yes this one and uh, i'm going to make the transparency to i think uh, reduce the transparency to 55 and uh, size uh, i think uh, reduce the size also to 60 about 65 and make uh, the blur to 60 is okay uh, let me look at this how it look like uh, distance make the distance a little bit 
okay 178 79 is okay i think so i'm going to make the blur in increase it's okay i think so now i'm going to give a shadow effect to the second step and uh, i'm going to select uh, the shadow effect for the second step this one and uh, let me look how it's look like yes it's okay i think so also give the shadow effect to the third step and uh, give also this effect oh let me look at this how it's look like sorry i oh sorry this one yes this one and uh, make the size a little bit bigger to one or eight yes and make the blur little bit increase this one and increase the transparency degree i think so 60 is okay yes no i am going to group it control g to group it and uh, bring i think uh, i need an icon for uh, a winning person icon so i'm type just text here win to bring the icon yes this one and insert and bring it to the slide let me by shift or alt and drag it and make it a little bit bigger in size now let me ungroup it to convert this icon to the shape is is this is in svg form so i'm going to convert it to the shape yes and i'm going after converting the shape i'm going to take a rectangle select both and go to merge and fragment let me ungroup it yes select uh, this one and also this one by holding shift fragment and uh, let me select uh, deselect this one by holding shift and delete yes delete this one also and these heads also delete go is going to delete yes control g to group it and now i am place this uh, winning icon over these steps and uh, i'm going to give it some shadow effect again and take an all shape to this uh, man yes this winning man i'm going to give it some shadow effect and uh, make uh, soft edges and place it here and uh, a, according to the situation that light up from the top so i'm going to place a shadow effect under his feet and give it some different some gray color yes i i think so it's okay and give it some dark gray color and select all and control g to group it oh 
okay and let me take a, a rectangle and draw a thin rectangle vertically like this and a shape outline make it no outline and shape will give the dark one color the gray color yes and uh, shape outline make it no outline go to insert and take an all shape and drag an all shape by holding shift alt like this and i am going to give it some gradient i need only two stops so i am going to delete the extra stops and uh, the direction from up to down okay also give its line a uh, think so its line i am going to give its line also gradient and take only two stops in the gradient and give this color and the white one remember that the line gradient will be inverse to the fill gradient and i'm going to make it width one hole one over two and give it some shadow effect yes let me give it some shadow effect okay select this shadow and uh, i'm going to give this one this shadow and no this one yes and uh, up the tra increase the increase the transparent to c to 75 or 104 size and blur is seven <clears throat> control d to duplicate it and place it here control d to duplicate it and uh, control d to duplicate it let me distribute these uh, shapes by selecting all by, by holding shift and go to align still distribute vertically and uh, it will distribute equally in the in the line yes align left or right go to insert and uh, take a text box and uh, i need some textures zero one select and uh, monty sirot go enter and i'm going to make it bold and place it here at the center of the whole shape and give it some dark color i think so this one according to the steps i'm going to give it this color and make it a little bit bigger in size place it at the center and align at the center of the whole shape like this control d to duplicate it and place it here on the second shape and likewise control d to duplicate it and control d to duplicate it and uh, place it here at the center of uh, the all other shapes okay i am going to bring some text here to the uh, slide that i have typed earlier to save the time and uh, growth infographic uh, goes up to the main icon winning main icon and uh, these text you can uh, add your text here and you can increase or decrease these steps according to your requirements okay control d to duplicate it and uh, this text goes to the number two and uh, number three four and five you can increase and decrease these steps according to your requirements And let me make this text a little bit premium look so i'm going to make it bold and give it some shadow effects and go to text option and uh, select uh, this sh shadow effect and i'm going to give it some inner shadow effect i think uh, this will be okay and now you will look how the text uh, give a premium look i am going to increase the distance and uh, 
as you are looking to increasing the distance uh, the inner shadow you can see that uh, the text give a premium look and let me change the color yes i think uh, i should select this one little bit darker color and uh, thank you for watching please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it please subscribe it and thank you